Professional MMA star and one of the most popular fighters on the entire planet, Conor McGregor, hails from the Emerald Island of Ireland and has amassed a startling net worth of over $200 million thanks to a number of massive paydays, including the roughly $100 million he took the L for against Floyd Mayweather back in 2017, as well as an astounding $200 million pre-tax earnings from the sale of his whiskey brand, Proper Number 12. Thanks to all that money, he's been able to construct an enviable real estate portfolio with homes all around the world. Of course, with such strong ties to Ireland, Connor's most expensive home is located in the country of his birth. In 2019, Connor McGregor spent some of his Mayweather earnings on a $2.5 million mansion located in Strathfin Co. Kildare, which formerly belonged to a son of the former Prime Minister of Ireland, Albert Reynolds. Known locally as the Paddocks, Connor's home base sits inside of a gated upper class community called the K Club, which was famed for having hosted the Ryder Cup back in 2006. A short drive from the club's main building, you'll stumble upon Connor's home, sitting on gorgeously landscaped gardens with extensive frontage bordering on the river Liffey. From the very first moment you step foot inside the premises, you'll be greeted with luxury, including a spiral staircase in the front foyer along with tiled floors and a crystal chandelier. Elsewhere inside, you'll discover five bedrooms, six bathrooms, and fully realized living spaces like the living room and kitchen, which have been blended together into one vast open concept. If you're looking to set a mood with a little more intimacy, you could always move mealtime to the stunning dining room. Sure, it might be big too, but at least it strikes the right tone. And when Connor's done filling his guests' gas tanks with some five-star meals, he can show them to the games room, where they'll spend the rest of the night drinking and playing pool. More likely than not, however, your best bet at locating Connor at home is inside of his own personal gym, where he never has to miss a training session, thanks to his array of state-of-the-art equipment, including a treadmill, cable machine, squat rack, bench press, and more weights than anyone can count. Local reports also suggest that Connor is looking into extending the size of his home and has submitted a plan to the Kildare County Council to make significant additions to the home's current layout. Part of the proposed work includes the demolition of Connor's current garage and the construction of a part single, part one and a half story extension to the front, side and rear of the property. According to the filed paperwork, Connor also plans on relocating the home's tennis court while building a partially sunken basement underneath to contain a car park and a new gym. Initially, this plan was rejected with the board telling Connor that the scope of the project was too large. But after a comprehensive resubmission was made, the council granted McGregor the necessary permission. So my best guess is that Connor will be looking to stay somewhere else in the near future while his eyes Irish home gets a bit of a facelift. Thankfully for Connor, he's got choices when it comes to where to head next. As beautiful as Ireland is, it doesn't exactly boast excellent weather all year long, so there probably is something to do with why Connor decided to spend $1.6 million on a holiday home in Marbella, Spain back in 2018. Situated in an area of the sun-soaked city known as the Heights, a luxury development that boasts wonderful views of the Mediterranean and located right on the doorstep of La Racina Golf Club, Connor and his family's new home is the perfect spot to relax and chill out. Of course, when a neighborhood is this nice, good luck keeping it a secret. Connor might be relatively new to this area, but celebrities could be spotted all over, including European football stars like Harry Winks and Tom and Sorensen, as well as US Open golf champ Michael Campbell. As nice as their homes no doubt are, it's Connor who might own the prettiest of the bunch. His home boasts some modern touches that keep it looking spectacular. In particular, an awesome LED lit driveway that also boasts a stunning water feature as well. Inside, you'll find a fully stocked kitchen with built-in appliances that sits directly next to a living and dining room combination, surrounded on three sides by gorgeous floor-to-ceiling windows that show off the home's incredible views. Elsewhere, the residence boasts a primary suite with a sitting area and direct access to the outdoor pool as well as a home spa. Better yet, the home also features a dining area that overlooks the Atlantic Ocean, where Connor can stargaze to his heart's content, or at least until he's had so much whiskey to drink he can't keep them straight anymore. You know whichever comes first. Then again, if for whatever reason Connor isn't feeling up to traveling in Europe, 
His other option is to go to one of his favorite cities on the planet, Las Vegas, Nevada. When Conor McGregor's UFC career was in full swing, it just made sense for him to have a home in Las Vegas, considering how many of his fights emanated out of Sin City. Conor's one-time home in the city was a residence nicknamed the McMansion, which he once showed off to ESPN in 2015. Two years later, he'd return to Vegas before his fight with Jose Aldo, but this time he'd stay somewhere new, a home boasting 12,000 square feet of space that's also only a 15 minute drive from the Vegas Strip. No Known as Vegas Views, this mega mansion is situated on a 1.5 acre compound on Sunrise Mountain and features amazing panoramic views of Vegas, along with six bedrooms, just as many bathrooms, a walk-in wardrobe, and a kitchen that is so state-of-the-art, it was once used in the filming of Top Chef. When it came time for a little rest and relaxation, Connor could kick back in the home's one-of-a-kind entertainment suite, which boasted not only two TVs, but every conceivable video game console. An hockey table and even a disco ball for some late night dancing. Then there's the gym where Connor lifted weights and utilized every single piece of equipment routinely so that he could maintain the peak physical condition he was in throughout his prime. Connor could also beat the Vegas heat no problem by jumping in and out of his 50 foot long infinity pool. Or maybe he'd rather barbecue on the property's massive terrace or enjoy a round of golf on his very own private back garden golf of course. Even though this home wasn't located in a private community, it did include its very own concierge who could accommodate anything Connor needed, from dinner reservations to post-fight entertainment and even setting up appointments with fashion consultants. But here's the thing, Connor never actually owned this home, he simply rented it. People who did own it, however, put it up for sale in 2017 for $2.8 million. According to reports, whenever Connor is back visiting Vegas these days, he tends to rent out a penthouse suite at one of the city's many famous hotels. There have also been whispers that he's training out of a Vegas compound for his return to UFC in the near future. But first, he's gonna become a crossover star with his first starring role in a remake of the 80s hit Roadhouse. He's also helping train new fighters as part of UFC's The Ultimate Fighter reality series, where he's working as a coach against the team of up-and-comers, being taught by his next opponent, Michael Chandler. But no matter what corner of the world he's in at any given moment, one thing's for sure, Conor McGregor knows how to kick up his feet and relax in a lap of luxury as his real estate portfolio so clearly reflect. All right, everyone, that's gonna bring this latest house tour to a close. Thanks so much for watching and before you head out, consider answering the following question. If you were a professional fighter, which room in your home would be the one you spent the most amount of time in? I mean, logic says it's the gym, but I'd be interested to hear if you can come up with other ideas. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to make sure you never miss a video. My name is Kara. If you would like to check out more celebrity homes, then stay tuned because coming up, I'll take you inside the properties of Rihanna. I'll see you all next time. Bye. After working her butt off to secure a wildly high net worth estimated at $1.4 billion, superstar Rihanna is said to have quite a stacked real estate portfolio. While she owns multiple properties in Los Angeles and even has spawned her native Barbados, it seems most recently Riri has splurged on a glamorous $21 million condo. While she already is called the luxury building the century in Los Angeles home since 2014, with her second baby on the way, it was time to upgrade to a bigger, better residence in the same structure. This time a penthouse covering the entire 40th floor. Rihanna and her family's new spread offers over 9,000 square feet of space, jaw-dropping views and features like floor-to-ceiling walls of glass and a personal movie theater. Back in 2014, Rihanna moved on into her stunning condo located in the Century Building, a 42-story condominium skyscraper in Century City, Los Angeles, about 10 miles from downtown. Other residents who live in the stylish Robert A.M. Stern design tower have often spotted the high-profile singer coming and going from the building. And according to several sources, Rihanna has long been using this condo as her primary residence. 
She sought her first condo here for safety purposes after an intense break-in incident occurred at one of her former homes. At the Century, there are private elevators and what's described as three layers of anti-paparazzi security. Not to mention, the building is also famed for its 24-hour valet and 75-foot luxury pool with private cabanas. Riri's first unit was said to boast three beds and four baths and cost her $5.45 million. So comparing to the price tag of her latest purchase here, this condo was definitely much smaller. According to reports, it spanned a total of 3,500 square feet. The Century boasts 140 units and other reasons for a high price tag to live here include amenities like a movie theater, spa, wine storage, fitness center, four acres of landscape gardens, and more. Most recently, in April 2023, it was reported that Riri had added onto her already large property portfolio with the purchase of a sprawling penthouse in the exact same building. Only this time, it cost the billionaire a whopping $21 million. The century might be one of the most prestigious prestigious and pricey residential buildings in all of LA, but we know Rihanna can afford it. Considering she not only has a new baby, but also another on the way, it would seem that she and her partner ASAP Rocky needed a larger space for the growing brood. Riri's new condo is one of the largest in all of the building. It's a massive penthouse covering the full 40th floor and boasting 9,920 square feet of space throughout. Aside from all of the designer details and amazing views of the city lights below, her new crib comes with four bedrooms and 6.5 bathrooms throughout. Plenty of room for the soon-to-be family of four. Another billionaire, Nick Molnar, co-founder of Afterpay, sold the residence to Rihanna and while he won $28 million for it, she was able to negotiate a nice little discount. This could have worked out because the deal closed only one day before the new Los Angeles mansion tax came into play. And if they waited one more day, the former seller would have owed an additional $1.1 million in taxes. Still, Nick lost out on $600,000, considering he bought the penthouse two years prior from friend star Matthew Perry. While Perry lived here for four years, he seriously customized the property, getting help from architect Scott Joyce, as well as interior designer L.M. Pagano. Stepping into Rihanna's new luxury crib, a private elevator landing transports you directly to the home's entranceway, where the grand living room has soaring ceilings and full walls of curvy glass showing views of the city skyline. Also here are dark hardwood floors underfoot that continue into the formal dining room. Nearby, the modern all-white kitchen has top-of-the-line appliances, double islands, snack bar-style seating, and plenty of marble counters. Other stunning features in Rihanna's new family home include a plush soundproof theater with velvet couches and a cozy vibe, as well as a massive master suite that comes with not only a curved bedroom with walls of floor-to-ceiling glass, but also double walk-in closets, double ensuite bathrooms, and its very own private sitting lounge. Finally, the unit also justifies its hefty price tag with its not one, but four separate outdoor terraces, from which you can view the ocean, cat Catalina Island, downtown Los Angeles, the San Gabriel Mountains, and even Mount Baldy. Rihanna's penthouse also comes with a jaw-dropping monthly fee of $8,814, which gives the wealthy residents like her access to all of the amenities, like four parking spots in the underground, a 24-hour concierge, an outdoor swimming pool and gardens, an in-house restaurant, and much more. Other famous neighbors at the Century include the likes of reality stars Terry and Heather Dubro, as well as Denzel Washington, and even Candy Spelling, who owns the famous two-level penthouse just above Riri's. While Rihanna also owns two next-door mansions in Beverly Hills, she reportedly rents them out, but let's check those out next. In December 2020, Rihanna purchased a home in Beverly Hills, more specifically in the Beverly Hills post office area, on the same star-studded and posh street as legends like Paul McCartney owned properties. Her contemporary crib is nearly invisible from the street due to imposing privacy gates and hedges, and it has undergone massive renovations to blend both traditional and modern design elements. Meanwhile, inside the home features 7,628 square feet of space with five beds, 
beds and seven baths throughout. The home was built in the 1930s, but it had been completely torn down and rebuilt in recent years, making the new style very modern. Curved stairs out front lead you to the house's exterior, which these days features white paint with a black metal roof and trim. Interiors resemble a modern farmhouse design with French white oak hardwood floors and an open plan layout. There is a glass front door which opens to the entryway where there's a giant black bull sculpture and this area overlooks the center of the home. An open air courtyard with terrace, swimming pool, spa and fire pit. Most of the lower level in this home surrounds the courtyard which is accessible through walls of glass sliders. One of the living areas has white walls and a floor to ceiling black marble fireplace. Another, also with fireplace, is fitted with shades of gray from the walls to the bookcases and even the wet bar. Rihanna's kitchen in this residence has plenty of space to cook up a meal or entertain since it's bright and airy and features gold hardware, two white marble islands and access to another slim terrace. Not to mention a cozy breakfast nook here was made glamorous with black leather seats. The master suite has tropical vacation vibes and looks like it's straight out of a resort. Also including a custom closet with black cabinets, while the ensuite bath opens up to an outdoor lounge area too. Also on the upper level of the home, you'll find a home gym with full wall of windows overlooking the central courtyard as well as the guest and family bedrooms. Throughout the home, there are plenty of open spaces to socialize, such as an intimate lounge area, a luxury wet bar, and the alfresco courtyard. The half acre property is on a slope overlooking the canyon, but the courtyard was a creative way to get the most out of this space. And because of its position on the hill, the entire property is surrounded by tall walls for extra security. Then, in April 2021, it was reported that Rihanna added on to that property and bought the house next door for $10 million. This home was never on the open market, but the gated property includes a large home. Originally built in the late 30s, spanning 3,000 to 500 square feet of space with four beds and 4.5 baths. The Tudor style home is designed with a mostly traditional vibe, offering up formal living and dining areas along with an eat-in kitchen on the main floor, which opens up to the family room. There are also some cozy fireplaces throughout the home too. That family room has glass sliders out to the backyard while the upstairs master suite boasts its own private balcony. While the home may look a little bit basic for Rihanna and ASAP Rocky, since they likely rented out to tenants, it was an investment. Now they own over an acre of land total with both of these Beverly Hills post office properties combined, as well as over 11,000 square feet of living space between them, two pools and tons of parking. Out back, there's a brick patio with room for eating in the fresh air, as well as a built-in barbecue and oversized swimming pool. While on top of the garage, you'll find a separate guest house with full bedroom suite. Now that we've checked out the homes of Rihanna, including her latest Century City, purchase, that's going to bring this house tour to a close. Before you go, answer this question for me. Would you prefer living high up in a penthouse or in a private home with a big yard? Let me know in the comments below. For me, I'm going to pick the yard and full on house every time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to check